I'm Slava Rubin, and I'm with Indiegogo. Crowdfunding is a flavor of crowdsourcing. So you can crowdsource anything. You can crowdsource ideas. You could crowdsource pictures. You can crowdsource light. Whatever it is that you're trying to get little bits of to make one big thing happen. So crowdfunding is the crowdsourcing of funds. The Statue of Liberty was actually crowdfunded. Joseph Pulitzer, who owned the New World, used the newspaper as his technology to send out to his local distribution network, his readers, to say, hey, we need to raise $100,000 to be able to fund the base for the Statue of Liberty. From the beginning, we really wanted to democratize funding, which is to allow anybody to raise money for absolutely anything. We're just trying to play our part in fixing what we feel is a massive gap in the market in terms of access to capital. Other players, whether it be VCs, banks, government institutions, or others, they have their application process, they are gatekeepers. Based on their criteria, they are deciding if you deserve money. If you don't fit through their gate, you're not going to get money, which is all fine and good, but where Indiegogo is completely different is there are no gatekeepers. Anybody has an opportunity to get anything funded, just completely open. People want to know how to run a good Indiegogo campaign, and it really all comes down to three things. One, have a good pitch. Two, be proactive. And three, find an audience that cares. One myth is, oh, I just need to post on Indiegogo and millions of dollars just come rushing in. That's not what happens. You need to be working on it. You need to really own it. We are a multiplier. We help amplify what you're able to do and make you do better. One of the biggest failures of a campaign is if it becomes boring and old and no one cares anymore. So you want to keep it fresh. It's very easy to come out of the gate quick because you did a lot of work up front. There's a lot of excitement. If you hit 25% of your funding within the first week, you're five times more likely to hit your target. Chances are you're going to have a good finish because you have that deadline. The key is to keep the momentum going along the way in the middle. We know if you have four more people on your team, you'll raise 70% more money than if you have one person. If you do an update every five days or less, you'll raise four times more money than if you do an update every 20 days or more. We know that email is your number one tool for raising money, Facebook is number two, and Twitter is number three. We know if you have a video as part of your campaign, you'll raise 114% more money than if you don't have a video. You want to have three to eight perks. A perk is some sort of product, service, or experience as barter in return for the different funding levels. On average, you'll hit your target on day 36 of a 47-day long campaign. Indiegogo is really built on, you know, amazing things that have happened by other entrepreneurs that have pushed the bar forward, which I think is super exciting because if you empower an entrepreneur to push forward, an entrepreneur can change the world.